Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be working with my never ending kit. And oops, I actually already have my photo picked out. It's actually across the table. Um, so I don't need to choose them. So let's see what I can do. Okay guys, so I have this photograph. Now this is of the mountains uh, from the bed and breakfast uh, that we like to go to in Leavenworth. And I am going to do some sort of combo stacked washi sticker sneeze kind of thing. Um, I don't know really what to call it. It's not exactly a stacked washi. It's not exactly a sticker sneeze, but I am going to be able to use a bunch of product. And I will tell you guys that that makes me happy. Um, I am really excited to use a bunch of stuff. So I'm using washi and stickers. I've got um, this uh, acrylic piece that came in MK's um, what is that thing called? That box that you open like the 12 days of Christmas type thing, advent calendar. Boy, don't know why I struggled with that one so much. Um, but I'm also bringing in stickers and 3D things. So like that acrylic and the gold glitter heart, which came from scrapping reflections and fabric and ribbons and things like that. Um, this is basically a decorative page, right? Like I'm not going to epic journal on this page. It's going to be a pretty photo of the mountains with the beautiful sky and the clouds and all of that enjoyment. And besides that, that's all it is. This is just a decorative page. And I do like to throw these in to my albums every once in a while. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, some sort of epic grandiose photo to do with this either right like this is just a a photo that we are enjoying um our time there of right like there's there's it's not like this is some sort of once in a lifetime photo that I need to highlight in my album um it's just something that I like and I want to highlight in my album. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I've got some bannery bits that we're gonna put over here underneath of the photo. I decided to tie off the banner with this gold, uh, almost said heart, but that's not a heart, that's a bow. With this gold bow, that's gonna be at the end there. Um, I'm also putting a sticker directly on the photo. Um, like I said, this isn't some sort of epic once-in-a-lifetime, um, one-of-a-kind photo that I have to worry about. Um, if it was, I probably wouldn't be putting a sticker on it, you guys. Like, if, if the photo was that important, I, I wouldn't be doing the things. However, the photo is not that important. Uh, you know, when it, when, when it, when you boil it down to the nitty gritty, it's, it's just not. Um, some of the things I am going to go ahead and put up on some fun foam. That's going to give, uh, some lift and some texture and some dimension to this page, uh, instead of having everything just kind of slapped down and feeling, feeling flat, uh, even though not everything is on uh, that is on this page is flat. There's there's definitely uh, some good stuff going on with texture and dimension. Um, I'm overlapping uh, washi tapes. I'm overlapping paper. I'm you know making sure that there's going to be a good mix of materials and a good mix um, just to kind of give the page some interest, right? Like here's one of those, um, oh, what was that company? Was it Snapworks? Was that Snapworks? Does that sound familiar? Um, where you would put the letters in the frames and there's one of those dark pink frames. I'm not gonna put a letter in there. I am going to uh, go ahead and decide that I'm going to put one of my hearts in there. Uh, just to highlight it, give it a little bit of a, hey, look at me, this is, this is pretty flipping awesome uh, kind of thing. Uh, and then I'm also gonna be bringing in some of these black chipboard shapes um, that I had in the kit. And these chipboards are pretty old. They are from uh, Cosmo Cricut 
kind of way back in the day type thing. And I just, you know, flat out really enjoy them. It's funny because a lot of the older products, I just, I really enjoy. Like, I really like them. And I wish that they would have them, you know, currently. And it wasn't just old stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, bring back, bring back the old stuff. Um, I am overlapping, uh, like I said, wood veneer uh, and stickers and um, enamel bits and all the things. And I really like how it's turning out. I am enjoying um, having my uh, like my white background. I enjoy filling that up. I'm enjoying uh, nestling things together so that they will go uh, with each other instead of competing with each other. I'm going to bring in little things that I just think are fun. Um, from this Ellie Studio sticker sheet, we're going to bring in some trees and things like that because, you know, there are trees in the photo, you guys. How about that? There are trees. Um, and then I'm going to um, add some things so that there are uh, pieces kind of coming out of the left-hand side of the photo. I didn't want that to kind of be uh, naked on that side where it's just a bunch of white space. I definitely want it to bring in the elements of, you know, the things that uh, I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and put those down there. I do put that striped tab and it's just me overlapping and taking little bits and pieces of things that I think need to fill in a space, right? Like my goal isn't to 100% fill in the space so that there's no white showing, um, but more along the lines of so that it feels like there should not be a weird gap there. And I know that that might be um, a very poor way of explaining it, um, but it's hard to explain when you're trying to you're you're trying to scrapbook emotionally, right? Like it's it's however it feels good to me. It's not um, the rules. It's not okay. I can't have these two colors touching. These two colors are complementary, or these two colors are not complementary. Um, I'm trying not to do that. I'm just trying to um, nestle things together um, with shapes and sizes. Um, I know that, you know, I am putting dots on top of dots or dots next to dots and all of those kinds of things. And, you know, maybe somebody would say mix up your patterns, but I'm doing it the way I like it and I am excited about it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and place those tines down for that scrap work square. I'm going to use a little bit of my Nouveau Deluxe to make sure that that uh, heart gets adhered down there. I am going to bring in and bring over some things that I think will work on this layout. However, ultimately they don't. Um, right? Like that letter right there. And then I'm going to bring in this bead it trim piece and that is going to go straight across a washi. Now what this does is it just adds a little bit more texture and excitement to what is already going on there, right? Um, oh, I guess I decided not to put that down there. No, I did. It's down. Did I just not glue it yet? I guess I just didn't glue it yet. Um, I do bring in these white paper flowers with rhinestones and some of them have glitter. Um, these I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, there's also another company that's selling uh, white paper flowers like these or paper flowers like these, but I don't remember uh, what the company name is or where you can get them. I don't, I don't remember it. I probably should figure that out to be able to remember it. But honestly, guys, you know, I feel like I'm, I am living the dream when I can remember as much as I do about the products. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get some more of these tiny word phrases down. And like I said, I'm covering up, um, not covering up, layering up over other things as well to get that done. 
So I feel like I've got this big white gap right here and I need to make sure that something goes there, right? Like it's it's feeling a little, a little too naked right here underneath of that banner. Now I thought I was going to leave that space open because there was a banner there. Um, but it felt like it was a little bit of an awkward gap and it felt like it was forced, right? Like that space was forced there. It wasn't something um, that happened naturally as I was building the page. It was kind of like, okay, you have a banner here, so you need to leave some space so like the banner can flap in the wind type thing. And it just felt in a way where I was like, nope, not going to do that. So I did add some more on there. As you can see, I added some washi tapes and a word. And I also added, um, what is that little round thing right there called a flare? You would think that as long as I've been scrapbooking, I would be able to remember all of the names of the things. <laughs> but sometimes your mind just kind of goes blank and you're like, um, hello, what was I thinking? Because I am unsure at this moment. Um, I am bringing in um, little uh, enamel shapes and things. So these came from that Chamel's uh, main character energy collection and it's got hearts and dots and little starburst type things. And it's just a matter of bringing in the colors and getting them situated and having them stay where I actually uh, want them to stay, uh, right? Because sometimes you put something down and it just shifts and you're like, what in the heck? That is not where I wanted that. Um, so you got to, you know, futz around with it for a hot minute to get it to your liking. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this layout, this kind of mixed mash stacked sticker sneeze layout type thing. But I love it and it goes with my layouts and it's another photo done and that's what matters. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.